so obviously they know what you do. But what are you hoping to show what, now that you know you got your uniform, you got your jersey, and you're out on the field? Um, I mean, just that I can play in this league and I belong. That's kind of the main thing. And um, you know, there's, there's a lot of doubters and everything, but you know, I'm here and I'm just here to here to do my job and do what I can for this team. For a guy who plays with a chip and has always had to prove himself, how hard is it to hold back out there right now? <laughs> it's, pre it's pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. Um, because you know I'm a competitor and I just I like to compete. Um, you know that, that's no surprise. But you know I trust the coaches and I trust what they're doing. So. What was this day like for you when it started? You get up and you think this is my first practice as an NFL player. It's a lot of different emotions, a lot of excitement and nerves, like you said. Um, but you know it feels good to have the first one under my belt and it was a lot of fun. Being out there with these these guys in this draft class, why why is this draft class do you think maybe special? I mean, well, this team in particular is, is special just because of the you know the caliber of players that we have and um, just everything that they preach and um, you know what they look for in the players, the team first, and um, I feel like that's definitely what we have here. With, you talked about the nerves. Whether you're the fifth pick of the draft or an right. undrafted free agent, right. are the nerves the same? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, they're, they're definitely still there. Um, I mean, I'm still human, so the nerves are normal. Coach said you met Marcus Mariota today. Is that right? I did. Well, I did. How that conversation go? It was smooth. I mean, it was just two about guys that? talking. Yeah, um, talk it's talking about um, his road to recovery and you know his ankle and how that's doing a lot better. And um, it's talked about the future and you know how we're both excited. You've talked about being a big fan of his coming in. Right. Is it different when you meet him, or do you <laughs> let him? See no, that? I'm still a big fan. I'm still a big fan. That doesn't change. He's a great guy, very humble, and I'm looking forward to working with him. You, you tell him that, or just find out? Anything? No, I didn't tell him that. Too, okay. <laughs> I'm sure he's watching these, or he's heard, so I'm probably tired of it, honestly. You mentioned having a chip on your shoulder. It seems to show, especially you know, with your run after the catch ability. Right. When you get the ball tucked under your arm, do you kind of take the mentality of a, of a running back, even uh, though you play wide receiver? I mean, I try to. Um, you know, one of my favorite players of all time was Walter Payton. Um, I never got to see him, you know, play actually, you know, live. Um, but I've seen all his YouTube videos and you know, everything he lives by is, you know, never die easy. That's kind of how I try to run. Um, so, yeah. Well, Cole, what's it like, I guess, coming in and meeting new teammates? I, I know you've met a mm -hmm. before, but you meet a lot of these guys for the first time. What's that been like as you kind of learn a new right. team? It's fun. I mean, you can meet a lot, of, a lot of new faces, a lot of new guys all out here trying to compete and, um, and just doing what they love. And, uh, you know, that's a big thing. And it's, it's all a blessing just to see these guys come out here and, and play ball. At some point, will you get Marcus's autograph? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. At some, some point, will he get yours? We'll see. I don't know. I don't know if I'm big enough for that yet. I don't know.